Welcome fellow fashion thrifters. Okay, I'm on a roll. Um, it's after church. I wanted to, before I get on my Sunday snuggle up, watch the football game close, I wanted to do a really quick um, haul. So I got back from New Mexico and I'm hoping you guys watched that video of the haul from Roswell, New Mexico, Albuquerque, and Santa Fe. So I went yesterday, not really planning uh, to go feel like there was a, I, I just kind of needed to go because sometimes addicts just need their drugs. Drug. So I went in to the art thrift store, which I live right behind, which is really difficult enough as it is. And these are the things that I found. So it was half off Saturdays, except for, I think, blue tags. So everything I have here is phenomenal. Oh my gosh. Okay. Some of these things are going to be on my Poshmark store and or my eBay store. And this one I'm keeping, I think. I'm not sure. Okay, look how gorgeous she is. Okay, look. Stunning. Okay, right? She's velvet. She has, oh, cutest. Look at the satin in there. Okay. Look at this amazing neckline. Cute little shoulders. No shoulder pads, just the shoulders. And um, the, where's the pocket? Look at the pocket with that hardware right there. Stunning. All right, so I'm going to try her on just because, uh, just because I can. All right, hang on. Wait for it. Oh, if you see the cute pants I have on, these are anthropology. All right, so check this out. Ready? Boom, boom. Yes. Whoop, whoop. All right, isn't this adorable? Of course, I wouldn't wear what I have on now, but anyways, ah, lovely. All right, so this one is, <clears throat> might be a keeper for me, but if somebody wants to pay the right price, I just might sell her. All right, perfect. Half off, okay? Never been worn. Uh, this was not half off. I bought it. It was the blue tag. But as you guys know, when I see free people, uh, I just have to get it. So this is a free people top. Very, um... Very bohemian, um, love the sleeves, how they gather. Look at the um, print on there, isn't that cute? And I think this is a great transitional color into fall, the combination of these flowers and um, print because some of you guys do not live in Colorado, so you don't really have to go all out. And it is by Free People, which is lovely. Okay, so anyways, this is going in the store. Look for her. Um, let's see what else. We've got Urban Outfitter. Ah, get back here, girls. Urban Outfitter. Um, the BDG is by Urban Outfitter. This is brand spanking new. It's crisp. It's never been worn. Look at that. I mean, you could just tell. The tags are crisp. Hadn't been worn at all. So, this is a cute kind of a, you know, if you're having a hard time transitioning into fall, you could use these colors. I just love it. It just reminds me of the 80s, which I am an 80s baby. So very fun. All right, so that's going in my store as well. Uh, okay, I found this in the Halloween section. You know where they have in some of the thrift stores all the Halloween stuff, and you're thinking, okay, I was. Maybe you weren't, but I was. I was going, self, uh, don't go over there and be one of those persons. You, you don't do Halloween anyways. I went, I started looking through, look what I found, <laughs> anthropology, anthropology, why would somebody wear this for a costume, this is real life people, really, is this gorge, she's going into the store, she even has a lining in here, so she's ah, stunning, so um, this is a size 6, look for it in my store, la la la, and it was half off. Ooh. So I pass the savings on to you guys, all right? Okay, this is totally adorable. And I could tell she'd never been worn because the tags of everything was still there. The little safety pin. This was half off. Look at her. Can you guys guess who she is? Is that so, so pretty? Hang on, hang on. See, and then it has little ties where you could tie. I, I know you girls who love the oldest teenager in the world, which by the way can do the splits and is on Dancing with the Stars this season. Who is it? None other than Miss Betsy Johnson. Woo! Look how 
okay, 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 Renee, really, you totally messed that up. Ah, uh, fashion thrifter. Anyways, you got the idea. Cardigan, cute, cute. Ah, oh, no, I'm not going to let that happen. No, no, redo, regroup. All right, so, okay, too, too, too cute. Love the buttons. Look at the buttons. I know I'm spending a lot of time on this one. Look at the buttons. Darn adorable. Cut it out. Ah, uh, cute, cute. Look for her in the store. All right, um, Okay, one of the, and I've learned this one just recently, Anthropology has a line called Sleeping on Snow, which is so appropriate for Colorado. Hello! That's what the Anthropology label looks like, and of course you have to look for the 66170. Okay, she is a size large. Darn it. I know, right? Look at her. Okay, okay, let me see if I can do her any justice. Alright, let me get her together here. Hang on, hang on. Wait for it. Ugh, I'm going to snap her. Okay, so look at that. Is that, is, did I do that right? No. Hang on. Here we go. Good thing this isn't live TV, right? It's just a recording. And you guys got all day because you know what? I am about to lose it. All right. So look at that. Is that stunning? Pretty. Okay, and then the back. Super cute. Look at the sleeves, okay? And she is a really neat cardigan made out of, and this is gonna be in the store too. She is made out of nylon and angoria, which is rabbit hair in case you didn't know, angoria means rabbit. Why do they don't put rabbit? I'm not sure, I think it might be French. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, and it has a little bit of wool in it too, so stunning. Look for her. Um, let's see. What? Another anthropology label? Cut it out, Renee. Really? Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. They cut the anthropology tag off, but it's still new with tags because that qualifies. Look at this. Stunning. Hope you guys can see this because the black really doesn't show up very well. And of course, the lining. Um, and, well, and that's a thread. But anyways, um, doesn't show up very well online, so um, I'm going to still put her up there. She's gorgeous. And let's see, she goes to about, um, I'm 5'2", she goes just a little bit below the knee. So, um, and what size is she? She is a total size medium. All right. Um, okay, I totally went cuckoo in Santa Fe because, oh my gosh, I took a picture. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, a, a post on this one store. It was called, um, retake. Ah, I can't remember what it was, but anyways, there was a stunning, beautiful Hispanic, Spanish. Who knows? I don't know. I didn't check her ID lady in there and she was dressed to the nines or tens. You think it would be 10 because to me, 10 is better, but I think it's to the nines and I had to take a picture with her. And anyways, this reminded me of her. Look at this. I'm so going to wear this. Okay. It's very Southwestern. Look at the sleeves. Voila. And then you wear your turquoise necklace and put my hair real straight. This is the, I'm not going to call it a curse, but that's what it looks like. Curly ladies. Some people wish they had this hair. Whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do the Southwestern with, um, like black, black leggings, really pretty. And then a black boot, cowboy boot. Bam. I'm looking for a cowboy boot with some embroidery, different kind of colored, maybe some red, teals, browns. I'm not sure yet, but I want them to be black. Okay. Um, I normally don't buy undergarments. That's like my rule. I do not buy undergarments, but I could tell this was new. Okay. I don't care how small you are. I don't care how tall you are. I don't care how anything you are. If you're a normal person and you don't work out, like I don't work out, like, like I walk and I lift weights, barely. And I do a little bit of abs, barely. But look at this. This just gives you just such a slim look. It just smooths things out. When I'm working at Clothes Mentor and there's these ladies that come out of the dressing room and there's those little, um, unsmooth areas due to improper undergarments don't be that girl look in the mirror back it up take a look around 
call that bestie who will not let you go out looking like that and you know what invest in one of these these will make you smooth it, it's just perfection and it, it, it that's what you need you don't have to be skinny be who you are what size you are however way you want to do it but smooth out your look don't wear that blazer girls i saw this in new mexico i can say that i'm from new mexico i saw this gal she was beautiful everywhere else her hair, everything. Not that large isn't beautiful, but she wore her garments wrong. She wore her blazer too tight that she actually had, you know that back fat, girls? You know what I'm talking about, that back fat? You know that back fat that just sticks out and everywhere? Loosen up your bra a little. Might be wearing the wrong bra. Shift on your sizes. Go larger, because you'll look smaller. But she had all like these pooches everywhere. And it's like, no, don't be doing that. Smooth things out. I don't care how big you are or how small you are. You're going to need some smoothing out. It makes the outfit look much better. All right, I'm going to take an offering because I'm still preaching away. So sorry. Okay, anyways, I'm going to show you guys this hat. I'm going to show you this last piece later. This hat is, um, I bought it at Turnstile. It's a consignment store. It's a new one. They're actually in, I think, Minnesota, Colorado, and somewhere else. Look for them. They have a great stuff. It's a consignment store. So I take some of my things that I don't sell in my store and then I don't take to clothes mentor. I go, well, anyways, I had credit. All right, look at this. Isn't she so Audrey Hepburn? Okay, ready? Yes. I know. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at the bow in the back. Is that stunning? I know. Okay, so that was... I know, I usually don't pay... This ran $180, and the lady took it in. I heard the story about it. The lady took it in. She goes, don't let my husband see that I'm giving you this, because he bought it for her, and it was a hundred and... I think she said $120, and I paid... Twenty-two for it. <laughs> Score. I gotta figure out a way to wear this. Hey, I could be that lady off the hill hillbillies. Your hat's always new if you still have the tag on it. What was her name? Um, uh, you people who are my age will know who I'm talking about. On hillbillies, remember? Anyways, uh, I wish I could remember her name. All right, all right. See, people, this is what happens. All right, all right. Fashion thrifters, this is the last. I saved the best for last because. This is going to go on my blog. I don't know how I'm going to situate her. If you've got any suggestions, please comment and let me know. But take a look at this. I hear noise. My husband might be coming in because I'm supposed to be making lunch. So shh, just bear with him. All right, so take a look at this. Okay, is that stunning? Ready? Ready? Oh, my gosh. And then look at the how it kind of just dips there. Look at that. Oh, that's the back. Okay, so it buttons all the way up. Okay, like this, you got your sleeves. Now, I'm bold, but not that bold. I gotta find something underneath this. I'm not sure how to wear this. If I find um, maybe um, some sort of silk, um, long dressy kind of liner, and then I'm gonna add um, brown cowboy boots to it, and I'm gonna put on some stunning antique gold brown jewelry. Be waiting for this. This is, this is, this is mine. Um, yeah, it was $5, and I know I can do, do it's half off, so it was $9.99. I know I can do something with this. So I hope you guys are excited to see this as much as I am excited to fashion it. All right, ladies, it's always a pleasure. I got to go. My husband's hungry. We just got out of church. Oh, let me show you this really quick. Look how cute that is. I found that thrifting. And my husband, he's an inventor, so he made it bigger for me because he rocks. So now it fits. And I thought it matched my cute little outfit here. Oh, Dolce & Gabbana. That I found um, thrifting. Okay. All right. And no, not my shoes. My pants. Very cute. Now I'm going to show you this. Ready? Ready? They're wool. It's getting low on. Right? Look what's coming back in style, ladies. Flares. Can you believe that? Look at that. Okay, you can't see it. Flares. Flares are coming back in. I'm so excited because flares are very classic. So anyways, thank you for watching. Please um, subscribe, go to my um, online thrift store, I guess that's what you want to call it, online store at, on eBay at Fashion Thrifter 14, all together, Fashion Thrifter 14. If you can't find it, go to my fa Facebook page under Fashion Thrifter and you'll get a link that takes you there. Also, I'm on Poshmark, okay? And uh, you guys have a great day. Thanks for listening. Ta-ta. Bye.